desperate times call for desperate measures. Sure, you've heard that phrase before. Now, typically when people say that, they're saying like, you know, if you hard up, you got to do what you got to do, get it done, handle your business, hustle, make it happen. But have you ever thought about it from the flip standpoint? I'm going to reset your thinking about how you look at desperation. Because desperation can cause you to do something that had you not been in desperation, had you been in, as we say, our right mind, we would have never done. We would have never considered. We wouldn't have even went there. And I started to think about, right, desperation is really just fear. It's fear pushing, motivating, and and really just punching you forward to do something that you may should reconsider. So recently, I had a project and it was a complete and total mess and I needed it to be fixed as soon as possible. So calling around, trying to find somebody to fix it, came across this name, reached out to the person, had the person come out to the project and immediately, bad vibes. And I should have realized at that point, like this is an omen. This is like foreshadowing some shadiness. Person talking fast, not professional, um, just the energy was off. And for anybody who knows me, I always say, gut doesn't lie. My gut does not lie. It has never failed me. And really, that's just my discernment that God is giving me. But anyway, ignored all of these like, you know, bad vibes, bad energy I'm getting from this character because I'm desperate. I need this fixed ASAP, right? And against my better judgment, hired this person. When I tell you, in less than 72 hours, this went to hell and back, or, or it, I would argue may have still been in hell, and ended up paying this person in full, even though, cause just to get them out of my hair, that's how much of a mess. They made the situation that was already a mess, and that was already an emergency, they 10 x it. And then I had to pay them just to get them out of my hair, cut ties with them. And now I have to pay someone to go back and fix what the initial problem was and what they messed up. So because of my desperation, I'm going to have to pay twice. So I want that to really sit with whomever's listening to this today about moving and acting out of desperation, making decisions, making permanent decisions out of temporary situations. And I understand things can be urgent. I understand things need to be taken care of, but we really need to evaluate what we do when we feel desperate and is that desperation even valid because as we speak this particular situation still isn't corrected i'm working through it but it still isn't corrected so something that i thought was an emergency the sky is falling you know guns and blazes let's get it done could have waited until I got someone who was properly vetted, properly qualified, and knew what they were doing. But my desperation, my acting out of emotion rather than out of logic is causing me to pay double for something. So I want you to think about 
What in your life are you acting out of desperation? When it really isn't something you need to be desperate about. It really isn't something that you need to let consume you to the point where you make a very, very costly mistake. Because I did. So just remember that when they say that desperate situations call for desperate measures, I want you to really let that, let that breathe. You don't ever want to act out of desperation because the results typically that you will get will look like that you acted out of desperation and you pay Oh, you pay. I'll end up paying twice over. And at the end of the day, that's just money. But what about things that you pay for that are greater than money? That are permanent, permanent mistakes that you'll have to live through, get through, and that you can't ever erase. So I just wanted to leave that with you all today because really desperation is just fear. And we know he has not given us the spirit of fear. We have sound mind, sound thinking. I hope that blessed someone today. I hope someone needed that today. Um, thank you for listening to the channel. Thank you for subscribing and make sure you share this with someone today. Until next time, blessings.